Welcome back. This is part three of our series on designing a Mimic LNA. Uh, before we get into the actual design of the LNA, let's do some cascaded noise figure analysis so we can get a feel for what sort of noise figure and gain we may want to have for our amplifier. Cascaded noise figure analysis is a, is a very well-known and well-documented um, uh, equation or calculation that you can do. There's numerous resources that you can get on the web for doing this. Uh, I've just got a simple calculation here for uh, two stages, and I'm going to use some behavioral modeling to uh, to play around with this. In my first stage, I'm going to represent my LNA as a nonlinear amplifier behavioral model, but here I'm just going to use the noise figure and S21 magnitude, and I'm going to calculate these based on some variables that I've set up over here, my noise figure in dB, my gain in dB. And then for my second stage, I'm going to represent the noise figure of the system as if it were a cumulative uh, loss and I'm going to use uh, an attenuator to represent that and its loss is going to be measured with this variable or specified with this variable again in dB. Uh, so if we look at the uh, cumulative gain of the system with uh, 10 dB in the LNA and 7 dB loss uh, for the attenuator you can see we have roughly 3 dB of gain. Um, our noise figure is going to be calculated using the cascaded noise figure analysis and I'm using uh, the measurement equation, or I'm sorry, the measurement for noise figure here to take care of that analysis for me. And just to check the math, we're going to uh, print it out over here as well using the uh, noise figure equation. So we can bring up the tuner and start um, exploring this. Uh, right now we have, let's say, a nominal amount of gain and a rather high noise figure. If, um, if we crank the gain up so that it's, uh, let's say, 60 or 70 dB, we can see that as we get that higher and higher, the noise figure of the system really pins itself to the uh, value for the LNA itself. In other words, whatever noise we have up front is going to dominate because the gain afterwards is going to insulate the total noise figure from the, uh, from the uh, noise figure of those later stages. And similarly, if we can reduce this gain, then we'll get a much more um, friendly noise figure there. So what, what are reasonable values, I guess? Well, it depends what we want to do for our system, and it depends on some of the constraints we have, um, especially which uh, we could consider uh, the current. If we want to spend a lot of current, we can get a rather robust uh, low noise amplifier up front with plenty of gain and uh, the ability to handle lots of power and, and maybe even to bias it in a place where we have rather low noise figures. So we'll have to look at that when we get into actually exploring the FETs that we're going to use in these, this LNA design. But um, if we could set the, let's say the later stages are going to have a cumulative noise figure of, of let's say, you know, given the fact that there's going to be some mixing, there's going to be some amplification, there'll be some filtering. Let's say if we can limit the subsequent gain to um, 5 dB, um, what sorts of values would we want to have for noise figure over here? Well, clearly we're not going to design an amplifier with more than 70 dB of gain. But if we had an amplifier, let's say, that was 20 dB of gain, what does that do to our noise figure? Well, uh, given this analysis, we can see that the noise figure that we're going to get with 20 dB of gain in that first stage, if we were to have 5 dB cumulative noise figure, again, in a cascaded noise figure analysis, um, after that LNA, then we would really only increase the total noise figure of the system by a couple tenths. And if we were to, um, let's say, have 7 or 8 dB of gain, you can see that it's still you know, not adding a whole lot, we could tolerate um, close to 10 dB of noise figure after the LNA and only raise the total noise figure for the system by about three d uh, by about 1 dB. So I guess as a design goal, let's try to shoot for this 2 dB noise figure number and let's try to shoot for the 20 dB of gain because that seems to give us uh, some comfort and some insulation against the rest of the system. Uh, if you like more information about how to use behavioral modeling in this manner or how to do outright system design for an entire receiver, uh, there's plenty of information uh, in terms of microwave office. VSS, the uh, visual system simulator, is also a great tool for doing this sort of system design, frequency planning, budget analysis. If you'd like more information about that, there's plenty of information on the awrcorp.com website. Uh, there's videos on AWR TV or you can uh, contact your AWR sales professional to get more information.